What's good, e-bikers? So uh, if you're looking for a cheap entry-level e-bike, I got eight of them on today's show, and check these out. Okay, so eight entry-level e-bikes from 900 bucks to about 1200 so it won't break the bank. And uh, these are perfect e-bikes for the casual e-bike rider, right? These are not hardcore e-bikes that are going to cost you two grand or more. There's no mid, uh, mid drives here. These are just your basic entry level e-bikes that uh, you can try out for the first time. Again, for, again, these are great choices for the first time e-bike buyer. We'll start out with the Electric XP, of course. Uh, one of my favorite e-bikes of all time. 100,000 sold, comes in uh, two frame styles, this high step and this low step. Uh, these are great bikes for short people, especially, I think, um, is one of their main, their, uh, their good use cases. It's 500 watts, uh, front suspension, great customer service for only $9.99. I mean, you can't beat this price. And uh, this is the, so the number one entry-level e-bike, in my opinion, out there. It's one flaw would be the battery size, which is 9.6 amp hours. Everything else on this list is over 10 amp hours strong as far as battery goes. So it, it's not a long range e-bike by any means. Yeah, if you're going to do 10, 15 miles in a day, that's what this e-bike is good for. Um, you can buy second battery. You can buy an aftermarket battery uh, as well. But, um, you know, this is why I think it's just it's it's a great choice for the casual rider, someone who doesn't go a ton of miles in, in, in one day overall. So that's the electric XP. Next, we've got the Ride One Core 5, Ride One Up Core 5. I have this bike as well. Uh, very stealthy looking e-bike. You've got the battery uh, hidden down here in the down tube and it's painted over. So it doesn't actually look like it's a battery almost. You can see here the, uh, the keyhole and the chart portal for it. Uh, comes in some different colors. This is kind of my favorite combination, this two-tone electric blue and black. Uh, it's got uh, seven speeds, 27-inch tires by two-inch tires, 10.4 amp-hour battery, um, very lightweight as well, 49 pounds. So extremely easy to ride without any pedal assist, you know, if you do run out of, run out of battery. So on, on flat terrain, on a nice paved rail trail, this is an awesome bike for that, especially if you want to get a, more of a workout on your e-bike, which you can do. One of those myths, by the way, that uh, you can't work out an e-bike, you certainly can if you have the right, right bike. Here's the Gen 3 Groove, um, another uh, 20 by four inch fat tire. I believe this one has a 14 amp hour battery. This is incorrect. Uh, it's also a folding e-bike, as you can see, you can throw it in your car. It's on sale right now for $9.99. Uh, normally it's $11.99, but they have 200 bucks off right now. So if you're watching this, you know, six months or a year from now, I'm assuming it's going to have a different price, but uh, excellent choice here. Good company. They actually sell these on bestbuy.com as well. They have a deal with them, a company based out of Washington uh, as well. So check out the, the groove for a kind of a true fat tire, 20 by four inch uh, with, a, with a bigger battery. Um, so if you want to go a little bit farther than electric XP, this is a good choice for that. Next, we have the Rad Mission. This is their lowest priced e-bike. Rad Power Bikes, of course, is the number one uh, e-bike seller in the country. And uh, the Rad Mission is their road style e-bike with an external battery, as you can see here, uh, down here. Here's the controller. It's a 10.4 amp hour, which is kind of the standard today for you know, your entry level e-bikes. Twist throttle, single speed. I think you can buy it as a seven speed for another hundred bucks or two, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But a uh, really nice, clean-looking bike. I like the white here. It's got a, it looks like a, uh, a uh, taillight back here. Here's your front headlight up here on top. Comes in black. This one's white. Uh, really nice-looking uh, design. Kind of slightly swept back handlebars from what I can see here. And so that's the Rad Mission. Next, this is the lowest uh, weight e-bike on this list, 35 pounds. This is the Propella SS and uh, single, another single speed. There's a couple of these on these lists, uh, but look at those cool uh, blue metallic rims. Um, so that's kind of why you want to buy this bike. This is a road e-bike with uh, 
It really stands out as far as design goes. It's got a little kind of curved cylindrical shaped battery here on the bottom. And uh, really nice looking bike um, for, the, uh, for the money there. So if you're more of a road e-biker and you kind of want that true experience, then check this one out, I think. Particularly with the, that weight, I mean, uh, 35 pounds, it's, just, it's almost nothing. It's, uh, it's really low or really light. Uh, Aerial Ride Deal. This is the, uh, I think, the best value on this list. $899, and you get a 14-amp-hour battery. You get a 750-watt motor, and you can go up to 60 miles on this thing. Um, now, that's pretty hard to beat for $899. I mean, that's a ridiculously low price for an e-bike of this, uh, for these features that you get. So uh, I think it comes in blue, red, maybe black, as far as the colors go. You can see here it has a high step and it has a sort of mid-step frame to choose from. I think the saddle on this brown, and so are the grips as well up here. Uh, you got a front light, you got a tail light there, um, seven speed, I believe. And uh, a really good value here. So $899 out the door with a powerful motor and a pretty decent sized battery. I mean, it's hard to beat that price. So this gets my best value award uh, for this list of entry level e bikes. Aventon Soterra, that's, this is a new bike, uh, $1199 from uh, Aventon. Um, really good looking design here. Just came out with this e bike. It's got the uh, brake lights here in the rear frame and kind of uh, just embedded into the rear frame back here on both sides, uh, which is a really nice uh, touch. Comes in two sizes, sort of uh, large and extra large. Uh, it's got integrated lights. You know, Aventon bikes come with an app you can download on your phone to change all the settings, track your rides, uh, that kind of stuff. So another rigid fork electric bike here, another stealthy looking e-bike. Um, also, this has rim brakes too. So, uh, so from a value standpoint, you know, the right deal has mechanical disc brakes. Uh, this has rim brakes, but uh, it's such a lightweight bike. Uh, they say that it doesn't matter um, really with that. But uh, just keep that in mind. But it is a nice looking uh, road style e-bike uh, for that first time casual rider. And finally, I'll throw in the Rattan LM. Uh, this is the most expensive one on the list, $12.99. If you use my code, you have 50 bucks off. So you pay uh, $12.49 out the door. Comes in a uh, high step and a uh, low step. Um, 750 watts, 13 amp hour battery, 20 by four inch fat tires, excellent hill climber. So that's why I put it on the list is to, if you have a lot of hills in your area and you like the fat tire, the 750 watt is just a must have in my opinion. It just those motors climbs hill, climb hills better than any 500 watt bike does uh, by far. And you'll, uh, you'll notice a difference if you ever tried two different motors like that. So it comes in different colors. I have the army green here. It comes in red, black, I think purple as well. Um, and a few others out there. So that's the Rattan LM750. This is the LF750, the step through here. Um, I guess it's for male and female, but um, you know, these step through bikes, I think, you know, most of them, in my opinion, are just fine for males as well. Um, I think they're all, you know, they're very good looking e-bikes, no matter what frame style you're looking to choose from. And so, uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, those are, these are some really good, you know, low cost, get you on the road, first time e-bike rides for, you know, very little money. I think you'd be very happy with these companies here as well. All reputable companies. Um, you know, going through this, I think uh, uh, the Rattan, you know, the customer service with Rattan can be hit and miss. I've heard they do have a Facebook group uh, as well, but uh, the rest of these companies, I mean, they've been around for a long time um, and they have pretty good customer service as well, especially electric and also rad, uh, rad power bikes. So that's my list of the eight entry level e-bikes from 900 to 1200 bucks. And, uh, Leave a comment here if you have one of your own that I missed out on. I'm sure there are others um, e-bikes that are out there that uh, could be on this list, like maybe the Hay, Hay Bike Mars, which is a folding fat tire for uh, $10.99. Uh, but uh, let me know what else you think I should put on this list and in the comments there. And uh, thanks for watching today. I'm Chris Cross. See you next time.